Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Here, okay, this is uh, like, okay, what we have already completed here in the quality center is, so what did we start with? We started with the quality center introduction and then we did the architecture. Everybody remembers this? Then, after this, uh, we did the test plan module. Sorry, the requirement module. And then after the requirement, we have the test plan. Okay. And after the test plan, we had um, the test lab. Okay. And then what? Today we will be discussing the defects module. Okay. And then um, we will discuss some important features also. We have certain features like, you know, we have the analysis wherein we do the reporting. And then uh, we have the linking. Okay. Then I should also show you how to export the Excel to Quality Center. Okay. Is it clear everybody? So we will discuss on the defects module and then I will show you these two important features. Okay. I will show you these two important uh, features. All right. And then tomorrow I will show you how to export the Excel to the quality center. Okay. Divya, you forgot the uh, quality center architecture? No problem. I'll just remind it to you quickly. Okay. Yes, we have Vinita. I will tell you that. Okay. See, this is the quality center database we had, right? Which will get connected to the quality center client. So, this is a client server architecture, right? That we discussed. And it can also get connected to any of the testing tools like QTP, right? This also can be done. Is it clear? So, we have the database, which is nothing but the server, quality center server. And then we have the quality center client and then we also have the testing tool. Clear? Okay. So now let's start with the defects module. First of all, what should we do? As usual, open the QC Explorer. And then here we have the date and time which I got to change because it had expired. Click on apply, I click on OK so that I can log in. Then we have the quality center bin here. Click on the go button and we are going to log in into the quality center, right? So since I'm using 9.0 today, we will go for Alex underscore QC. Click on the authenticate. If you have ALM, don't worry, okay? The steps are going to be the same, right? And in case if there is any issue, you know what to do. You got to tell it to me and I'll resolve it for you. Okay. Then, so we did the requirement module. We did the test plan module. We did the test lab. And then we will do the defects module. And some of you wanted a quick review on this test plan and test lab, right? We will do it. Okay. First, let me show you the defect module. And then I will repeat this test plan and test lab for you. Okay. Okay. So, Defects module. Okay, we will go to the defects. Okay, then 
This is a very simple module, okay? When you compare it to the requirement test plan or a test lab, defix is a very simple module, okay? And what you got to do here in case, let me give you the sequence, okay? So what you do basically, first of all, you know, you write down all the set of requirements, correct? You write all the requirements here in the requirement module. Secondly, what you do, you write all the test cases here in the test plan module, correct? And these test cases you are going to execute in the test lab module, correct? You will add these test cases here into the test lab and you will do the execution. Then when there are defects, okay, so during the execution what you get, usually you get some defects. So these defects you are going to report it using the defects module. Okay, and it doesn't get automatically reported over here. You should manually go into this defect module and you should create a new defect and you have to report that defect over here. Okay, so don't assume that, you know, we have a defect module, we do the execution, automatically it will start reporting the defect. No, when we do the execution, it only gives you the pass and fail. Okay, that also which you are going to enter it over there. Correct, and when it is fail, they are defects, you got to manually enter it in the defects module. Is it clear everybody? Yes, Jaya, you can write it or if uh, sometimes BA knows it, they assign the role to him. Otherwise, you got to write it. Okay. Yes, Vinita, we do write the test data. We either go for the parameter or, you know, we either write it in the description. I will show you again. Okay. Um, Sujatha, today the, you know, SkyTap is not available, so ALM is not there. But I will show it on your computer if you want. Okay. I tried to connect to the ALM, do you see? But it is not connecting, I don't know why. So I have taken the, you know, 9.0 today. Okay. Don't worry, it is the same. But anyways, I'll just um, show it again if you want on your computers. Whoever has the ALM. Alright. Okay then. So what we got to do? Go for a new defect here. Okay, click on this new defect and as usual the new defect window opens. Okay, fine. Now I will write some defect over here. You should tell me how am I going to enter it into the quality center. Okay, let me write a defect here. Let's say I am executing a account summary. A very simple example we will take. I am clicking on the account summary then what happens? the transactions are not getting displayed okay the transactions are not getting displayed so this is the error that I'm getting or this is a defect now I want to report this defect into my quality center okay somebody is disturbing here okay in the manual testing test plan phase Sorry, some work is going on, you know, here. Okay, so in manual testing, the test plan phase is different, uh, right? Then the test plan in the quality center and test plan in the Excel sheet are the same. Wait, let me try to concentrate and read this. I got diverted, sorry. Oh, okay, Jaya. Yes, it is different, Jaya. Okay, see here. We have the test plan over here, okay. In the manual testing, the test plan that we discussed, it is different. It is a test plan document that is prepared by your team lead. That is a document, okay. But here in the quality center, whatever test plan we have, this is wherein we are writing the test cases. So both of them are different, okay. Don't try to get confused. When we discuss the manual testing, the team lead was preparing the test plan document. Okay, now we are discussing the quality center wherein, you know, we have the test cases which we are going to enter into the test plan. Okay. Okay, now wait everybody, hold on to your questions. Let me show you how to insert a defect first and then we will come to your questions. Okay, regarding your test plan requirement, everything. So this is a defect which I want to report it using the quality center. Okay, so if I click on the account summary, Ideally, the transactions should be displayed, but they are not getting displayed. Let's see how we are going to report it in the 
quality center okay pavni this is what i wrote see if the font size is too small what you do is go to the left corner of your screen and then zoom it okay you got to zoom it from your side all right okay now we are here into the new defect so you got to click on the defects module okay and then you can see the new defect over here okay let's write the new defect summary okay pavni we will come to that okay <laughs> yeah the test plan right we will come to that first listen to the defects module okay everybody see first let's complete the defect module okay and then we will go to the remaining uh, things if you want the repetition more explanation we will go to it okay fine shall we start the defect module yes okay yes if you say yes then i'll start okay see here we have a defect module over here right and then first we got to write the title or the summary okay let's try to write the summary and what is the defect that we have we try to click on the account summary but the page is not getting open or let's say the transactions are not getting displayed i'm sorry this i don't know from where this noise is coming account summary the transactions are not displayed okay tell me whom are we going to assign it to yes do you see there is something called as assign to so whom are we going to assign it to developer right okay so let's say alice is our developer so we assign it to alice click on okay okay now there is category over here it says defect it says functionality suggestion it says security issue it says ui suggestion tell me which one i should mark defect very good we got to mark the defect then version number okay let's say we have detected this in the version number 1.01 i got to select this version number tell me what should i enter here in the estimated fix time how much time we are going to fix this defect what are we going to enter here okay we are going to leave this blank okay we are going to leave this blank because who is going to fix the defect it's we or developers developers are going to fix the defect right so they will be knowing how much time they require to fix the defect so we are going to leave this blank okay then in which version to close the defect again who is going to decide this qa or a developer again it is a developer so leave it blank so here you can choose your project is it reproducible what is this meaning of reproducible or not it is not reopen okay reproducible means okay let me explain you so when you are you know testing a particular step in a test case okay you are testing a particular step in a test case so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them 
on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.